So as we started, as I started writing the song, I started writing in my particular style, and um, and it came out that way. And I, and I think that what people hear, or, or, or what they, what they, um, consider the, you know, the Joey Gardner sound, it's really the TKA sound. My partnership with Joey throughout the years, that's how this sound was developed. That's how our our sound was developed. Joey made sure that what we did then was of quality. So, you know, we got lucky. Well, the TKA sound is surely back and everyone appreciates it. I know that you gave me the exclusive for three weeks and then you had me put up the uh, link to the SoundCloud. And uh, man, did that blow up so quickly. Yeah, I, I, the reaction has been really good. Uh, um, um, you know, the, the only hate that I've gotten is from people that just want to hate for the sake of hating. I think they're professional haters. Um, but the true fan um, loves true love. You know, and you know, no pun intended. Um, but you know, but and I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy that the fans are liking it. Um, I'm going to start performing the song within the next. I want to say within the next couple of months. Um, I want to say the next month and a half or so, probably by the first of the year. Um, and I promise you, I'm going to have something new for you. I, I wanted it for next week, but. Jay Allums. No, no, no. Let, let's, let's just keep true love going. The 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 the, the fans love it. Uh, people are discovering it every day. You're getting great reviews. I mean, all the reviews on SoundCloud are, are just amazing. They're just they love it. Uh, they it reminds them of, of, of the TKA sound. And uh, you know, let's not let's not front. You know, this is the TKA sound, the K7 style TKA sound. But you know. Thank you. I, 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 that means a whole lot. I mean, uh, uh, we, uh, we, every single member of this band, from beginning to end, we, we, we worked hard to make something happen. You know, going into this 30th year, you know, I, I look back at all the times that I was in the studio with with people like you know with with. Um, with Joey Gardner and, and with, with Frankie Cutlass and, and with Tony Moran and, and Albert Cabrera and, and, and David Cole and, 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 you know, and it was, they taught us, they taught us, you know, even when we, we when, when, when Will Downing and Craig Derry were doing background stuff, um, on, on a lot of the early stuff, you know, um, I'm sorry for letting the cat out the bag, but um, uh, uh, those guys, when we were in the studio, they were teaching and molding, you know, me personally teaching these things and and that nowadays I try to use. I mean, it, it's a different time, you know. It's not, Now it's, it's not you're going to have 16 hours to work on a song. It's more like you got five hours. You know, or you got four hours. Let's, you know, let's get it cracking. And 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 uh, the expenses back then. You know what I mean? Uh, it was like five hundred dollars an hour. You know, for vocals. You know, it was yeah crazy yeah. expense. And, and trust me, we we had to. There, there were a, a lot of TKA songs where we had to go back in and recut a lot of vocals. And 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 we would see it in our budget. You know, we would see at the end of of, of recording, uh, 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 you know, a, a lot of the stuff why we weren't coming home with, with money because we spend it on you know making sure that everything was right so what, you know, where but, did uh, where did True Love come from who, who wrote the song how did you come up with the concept for True Love um the, the truth of the matter is I, I walked into Jay's house um to do a, a, a K7 track and this is honest to God truth um you know being my being a uh, uh, um I've been in the business for more than 30 years. Um, TKA as a freestyle group is 30 years, but TKA period, it's more than that. It's actually our 33rd year, to be honest with you. Wow. Um, and what I wanted to dedicate the year to is music and, and putting out music so that the fans could hear, showing them that I still have the love for it, you know, as much as I did then. And um, I walked into the studio to do a, a hip hop track with Jay Allums, and I'll be honest with you, I was in a really bad mood, and and <laughs> I, you know, I and 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 J 
Jay was scatterbrained that day, and, and I looked at him and I said, I got an idea in my head, and it's the only way that I'm going to get in the right mood, you know, and, and it's the only way to work the mood towards what we want to do, because the K7 track always has to be some happy, you know, sexy, you know, either I'm going to get some, or I'm looking for some, or... <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that, that's not, that type of music, so I, I, I turned around and I said, well, let's go in and let's try to write something that's um that's multi K vein. And uh and he wanted to go in one direction and I wanted to go in another and 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 I said start off with something and he and he started off with the beat and I said, Could you give me some piano? And he gave me some piano and um and then I started making the I started writing these lyrics and they started coming out of my head. Um Oh, you know, kind of Rain Man-ish, and I started singing it. And Jay, you know, Jay said, that's dope. Got me, you know, took the whole first verse, and then when we got to the chorus, he says, open up, and I opened up, and that's what you got now. You Man, know, I, I, I'm, I'm re- I mimic the song in my car every day. I'm in the highway. I'm pointing because I'm in love with you. You know what I mean? People are like, yeah. are you taking a left signal or right signal? What are you doing? You're in the middle of the highway. People pulling me over, like, what are you doing? I'm just singing in the car. People think I'm, I'm like having a nervous breakdown, but I'm just repetitive. It's on repeat. I, I love the song. It's a, good, it's a good driving record, right? It's I love a good it. Driving record. I love it. I, every yeah. morning before I go to work, too, I put it on, and I, I'm in a happy mood. Uh, it's kind of ironic too that Back to the Future was released in 1985, and you're bringing freestyle Back to the Future uh, with this new track, uh, TKA oh, wow. True Love, and um, you know, congratulations, man. It's it's an awesome song, and. I haven't seen one bad review at all. I mean, you know for a fact that I look for the bad reviews, not one. I, I appreciate that. I, you know, to, I'm ha- you know, for for an artist, it's not just the love of the fans, but it's when your peers call you up and they tell you that they like something that you did. And and in the past week, you know, um, the record is not on iTunes yet for sale. It was just put up on SoundCloud, and it was put up, on, and I'm, I'm and I made a, a lyric video to put up on YouTube. The song will be out um, soon, um, but you know, to, to get a George Lamont, you know, in, you know, backstage in Miami, come to me and say, "Yo, I really like the song. You know, I, I like what you did on the, the record," and you know, out of the blue, you know, like random, just randomly tell me that and. And to get Judy Torres to, to to text me and say I really love it, you know, and oh, you know, and, and then and then to you know and then to hear from you, you know, my peers, my younger peers in, in this business, tell me that they, you know that that they like it and that they're happy to get this type of sound back and yeah, and it's, I, it's 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 humbling and it's and it's it I feels got, good. Man. I got a call. It feels good. It feels like a homecoming. I got a call from Willie Valentine. It's simple. It's TKA is back. <laughs> That's from Willie Valentine. And, uh, I mean, everyone has called me. Uh, George Anthony, we were just talking about the song today. And, uh, you know, he, he was like, that's, that's, that's a TKA song right there, a true TKA. Uh, the, you know, we, we always look for you in, in all the albums. We, we look for your voice, to hear your voice. And TKA song all the way, True Love. Uh, brand new Thank song. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. So tonight you're in New Jersey, huh? Tonight I'm in uh, Manalapan, New Jersey, and then tomorrow I'm off to watch the Cotto fight, which I can't wait. You know, I'm I'm, I'm rooting for my fellow Puerto Rican, win or lose, I, I ride out with that guy. So I'm I'm hoping that that he pulls the win. If he doesn't, at least the Latino won. You know what I mean? You know we don't we don't lose as Latinos with that fight tomorrow. We get a good fight, and then still a Latino comes out on top. You know what I mean? Hey, um, you know uh, that you know that we're always talking about professional wrestling, and uh, this week is not going to be uh, any different, right? So Nick Bockwinkel no, no. passed away, former AWA yeah. champion. That that's Rowdy yeah. Piper, Dusty Rose, and Nick Bockwinkel. What do you think of, about all these legends passing away? Um, you know, the, the sad thing is that the sad thing is that when we you got to remember when we first you know you and I first started liking this, how young we were. And and these men are probably, you know, uh, they were probably older than we are right now, you know, yeah. when we when we started watching them. Yeah, Nick Bockwinkel was um, forty one or forty two years old when he became the AWA champion, and and I mean he was already older back then. Right. So 
So now you you look you know you look at where we are and you look at where they are. It's almost and you know it's, it's a sad thing to say. It's, it's a you know they're at that age. Right. Um, uh, it's I don't want to lose any of them. You know the, these are the guys. These are the men's men. These are the men's men of wrestling. These are the guys who actually did the work without crazy gimmicks. If it was a gimmick, it was a it was a, a, a slight storyline. Or a or a, a cowboy hat that they had to wear. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, you know, anything crazy. You know, it wasn't anything outlandish as a lot of the wrestlers today. And um, and it's just sad, you know. They they say they, they you know, they go in threes and and to, to lose Dusty, you know, and 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 to lose uh, Rowdy and now to lose him. You know, a, a lot of kids, a lot of people out there who, who are within the sound of our voice probably don't know who this man was, but, you know, he's one of the forefathers of today's great wrestling and and one of the guys who paved the way for many other wrestlers that are out there today. And Absolutely right. God bless him and, and may he rest in peace. Now, uh, what is in the future for TKA? Um, our 30th anniversary, um, 30 years of freestyle music, 30 years of being uh, um, part of the freestyle community. Um, it's it's uh, a celebration of being a professional singer, you know, not just not just as a hobby, but being a professional singer, songwriter, co-producer, you know, that that's we're celebrating that in, in 2016, and and we're going to try to take it as many places as we possibly can, to, you know, to as many people as we possibly can. And a lot of new music coming out soon. Uh, let's mark 2016 as, as a rebirth of, of, of freestyle. You know what I mean? For, you know, not just for TKA, but for, for everyone. If we all move in one direction, you know, we'll all get to where we want to be and, and, and people will get to hear the sound and embrace it as we have. I have, um, I have know, a, a small request. I, I need you to do a TKA duet. With George Anthony and Jennifer Jimenez, just uh, you know, putting it out there. I, I would love to do a duet with Jennifer Jimenez. I would, you know, love to do something with 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 George Anthony. He's a good friend of mine. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. What I would like to do, and I don't know if this is feasible, but my let's make it I'm happen. Gonna say, I'm going to say it out loud. What I would like to do in this next year throughout the entire year. I don't want to rush it. I want to do it right. I would like to do a duet with a lot of the main original artists. I've already done one with Cynthia. I've already done one with Coro. Um, but I would like, you know, I, you know, I don't want to let the cat out the bag. I, I did one with, 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 a, with another legend. Um, oh, but, man. You know. When we play that I, track. I, you know. When we play that track. But I, I would really like to go out there and and reach out to Mr. Stevie B. I would like to reach out to to um, Betty from Sweet Sensation. I would even like to ask Naomi, you know, and you know, and Judy Torres, who are significant voices in freestyle, to do it, you know, to do a song with me, and um, you know, and and just because people miss those voices. Yes. But I would, I would also like to embrace the new school community. So I, I would, you know, you know, you know, behind the scenes, I've been dying to do something with Willie Valentine for a long time, and 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 it's just a matter of time before we both find the time to sit down and do it. Well, um, he's on his way here. He's not here yet. But uh, I would also suggest his wife Cynthia Figueroa. She got some pipes, brother. That, that that's 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 a figure at all. That's family there. So you know, that's a given. So you know, I, I, um. For all the guys, for all you guys who don't know, my name is Louis Sharp slash Figueroa. My, my family name is Figueroa. So I, I look at Cynthia and I, I go, she's probably my cousin somewhere down the line. So, I, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, um, I, 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 I would also, you know, I was talking about, I was talking to a couple of friends of mine um, uh, from Philadelphia, Cito and, 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 and um, the guys from Paint. Gennaro, uh, yes. Yeah. TKA and, and, and Pain, two groups, price of one. Yeah, we've we've been talking about that for years now. Um, just as long as 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 uh, as I've been talking to uh, to Willie about it, and I think that this is going to be the year. I, I think that 
you know, I think that we 